So if I, if we now look into the definition of Docker, it says that it is an open source platform. You don't have to pay anything for building, deploying. So you do your development and also you deploy the application and then manage as well. Containerized application, what does it mean? Container. If you see the picture of Docker here itself, what do you see? These blocks, these small blocks, they are actually containers, small, small boxes. And each of the box is having something inside it. And that exact same copy is duplicated in all others, which means if you have to do anything, you do it in one place and the same gets replicated. So what does this small box has? This is actually one container. And one container will have all these things. Just compiled version of source code, like with your dependencies, it will have your runtime, it will have your configuration, it will have your server as well. Which means you don't have to do the hassle of configuring all this again and again on different environments. And you also don't run into the inconsistency. It's running here, but not running there. So that's the power of Docker. It gives you that capability to bundle everything together and ship it in a place where it's going to run exactly the same place. And if you take that bundle and try to run it in any other computer, it's going to run exactly the same, same way as it was running in computer X or computer Y. That's the beauty of Docker. It makes everything platform neutral and also it takes away the whole hassle of man managing your software dependencies or again and again based on environment, managing your runtime based on environment, managing your configuration based on environment, managing your server based on environment. All those hassle is gone with Docker. Let's further dive into the details of it. How does Docker does all this super magic?